Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to present the project and the title of our project is CFD Analysis of FSA Vehicle Nose Cone. So these are the members in our group. First is Kunal More, that is myself. Next is uh, Jatin Dado, Karam Patil and Pratik Bhagat. And our project guide is Professor Siddhesh Lard. So without wasting any time, let's get jump into this presentation. So these are the points which we are going to discuss in this presentation. So let's start with the first point that is the quick brief. In this point we are going to tell how exactly we are going to do in this project. So before uh, talking about the project, uh, let's talk about the CFD analysis. What is exactly that means? So CFD is nothing but the computational fluid dynamics. It studies the behavior of the fluid around the vehicle. The aerodynamic in aerodynamic fields, the aerodynamics use this to test the aerodynamic flow around the vehicle. Uh, it is a very essential tool to find out the drag forces around the vehicle which opposes the speed of the vehicle while racing. So it is a very important part in the aerodynamic field right now. So the most of the teams are using CFD analysis nowadays. So our problem statement was why the teams are using CFD analysis so much in this field and why it is so necessary in this field. So these are the basic advantages of CFD analysis. We can test uh, many variations as possible. It also the cost effective which we can do in the software so it won't cost anything. Also, it shortens the design cycle because we in the software we can do the trial and error method in short time. So it obviously shortens the design cycle. And it also predicts the what will happen on the racetrack if we use that body part. Not exactly uh, it uh, predict what will happen, it gives the approximation about it. So yeah, this is the some advantages of CFD analysis. Then this is the basic procedure of CFD analysis. So there are basic three steps. The first step is the pre-processing in which we import the model in the CFD analysis software and then we assign some values of that uh, model in the software interface. After that there is the solving method in which we assign some equations to analyze this model and it gives solutions after the analysis and after the analysis there is a final process that is the post processing in which we process the results which have been obtained after the analysis and we extract the data from it which we required for our project so after the CFD analysis introduction there is a literature review part uh, in this project we have studied lots of research papers regarding to our project and so we have shown some aspects of that research paper we have studied so okay so the next part is the gap analysis part in which we are going to tell how was the aerodynamic study was done before the CFD era and how it's going to how it is be done now so before CFD we used to require uh, big setups wind tunnels then we have to create small scale models of the vehicles which we are going to take it, uh, it takes lots of time to design those small scale models also and it is cost uh, it cost high also but uh, in CFD analysis, we can do it at home sitting. Uh, we can do it on a laptop or desktop. Uh, in this CFD analysis, we just require some dimensions. And we can create the model and we can analyze it in several hours. And we can do as much iteration as possible. So this is the main plus point of the CFD analysis. So the next part is the selection of design. So for the selection of design, me and my teammate Pratik have searched lots of research papers to get the no school design which we wanted. So for selection of design, we had created some criteria. So based on that criteria, we have selected some designs. 
and so these are the criteria on which we have selected the design the first criteria was it must adapt the rules and regulations of the competition officials which have been assigned and if you are participating in any formula student competition we have to design the body works according to the rules if we didn't manufacture or fabricate the body works according to rules we can get the penalty points so that is the very important thing while fabricating any body works so the next point is we wanted our nose cone to be smooth so that air can freely move over the surface of the nose cone we don't want any like uh, sharp edges or so sharp lines over our nose cone so that it can uh, injure any pedestrian uh, which also mentioned in the rule rule book then next we want our design to be as simple uh, we don't want to waste time in uh, designing the complicated model of our nose cone and we have to keep in mind that also we have to fabricate the nose cone so that it will be much easier to be manufacture fabricate the nose cone so we wanted uh, so we wanted our design to be as simple as possible so this is the first design we have selected uh, this is the from the research paper of university of perugia uh, the formula team of that uh, university have designed that nose cone uh, we have referred the dimensions of that nose cone and we have changed it according to our chassis or we can do change it as per our preference the nose cone was designed by their team was the best performing team from that university so we have decided to choose this one uh, as for our analysis to uh, check uh what exactly this nose cone works and how it will help to improve our vehicle's performance and this is the next design we have selected uh, this is from the dj sangvi college from mumbai uh, it is from the shell marathon car we actually changed the uh, nose cone design because the shape of the shell car and the shape of the fsi car is totally different so the the design we have we on the the design we have seen or the dj sangvi shell car was totally different so we have to change it according to our fsi vehicle so after changing that we get this result and uh, both of the designs were created by my teammate uh, karam patil so he designed both the nose cones in the solid works software now the next part is the designing part as we told earlier that the no school designs are designed in the solid works software so there are basic four steps for designing this no scones the first one is the sketching uh, we have to create the 2d sketch of that no scone by getting the dimensions of that no scone after that we have to do the surface lofting uh, in which we have to provide the surface for that lines which you have created in the sketch then the next part is the mirror part then in this we after creating the half part in the surface lofting we have to mirror that to make a complete nose cone and then finally there is a thicken part in which we have to thick thicken the some part of the nose cone the next part is the analysis of the nose cones uh, we have used the ansys software in the for our safety analysis and the analysis part was done by my teammate jatin jadhav he is done the both analysis of the nose cones the first step is the geometry we have to either create the geometry in the ac software itself or we can import it from other software also after importing we have to give some surrounding forces values to start the analysis of the model the next step we have to mesh the model in meshing the model gets uh, cut down into small pieces as we know that cfd analysis works on the concept of finite element analysis in which the model gets cut down into pieces and that small parts get analyzed in the cfd analysis the next uh, third step was the setup we have to create the setup the wind tunnel for our nose cone we have to create like a virtual wind tunnel in you know, like a box and we have to give the inlet velocity for the analysis so for that we have chose the values 20 to 23 meters per second that is 70 to 90 kilometers per hour the reason for choosing this value is that uh, the most of the formula student tracks are consist of uh, corners like hairpins u turns 
maggots 90 degree turns there is no like kind of straight lines in the race tracks so the most of the cars didn't achieve the top speed of their vehicles like this 120 or 130 kilometers per hour the average speed is around like 70 to 90 kilometers hour so we have decided to test our vehicle uh, vehicles no scone in those situation so that it can get the better idea of it. So the next part is the solution in which we get the graphical representation of the variables regarding to the aerodynamics like drag force, lift force, drag coefficient, lift coefficient and also other variables from the Navier-Stokes equation which is used in the analysis like k and omega. After that the final part is come that is result. We get the variety of results as we wanted. So for our project we have chose the four varieties of results that is air velocity, air pressure, wall shear and air density. So next is the observation part. After the analysis we have observed some results and we highlighted some points which we want to discuss in this presentation. So this is the first result uh, that is the air pressure result. As you can see in this slide, uh, you can see there is a high pressure area generated over the tip of the nose cones for both the designs. Uh, that is the presence of stagnation pressure at the tip of the nose cone. And the next uh, result we got the air velocity result in which we can see in the first design on the left side that there is a no increase in the velocity as air moves under the nose cone. But at the second design on the right hand side you can clearly see that there is an increase in the velocity of the air under the nose cone which satisfies the Bernoulli's equation as it creates the venturi effect under the car in which the air moves faster in the low, low pressure area which makes the vehicle faster and more stable at the corners which is a plus point for our vehicle. So after the observing the results we have done some calculation part by using some research papers and the analysis which I have done on the nose cones so we have done some calculation part so according to our calculation uh, we get the values for design A the drag coefficient is 0 0.63 and the lift coefficient is 6.805 and for the design B the drag coefficient is 0 0.597 and lift coefficient is 6.449 so you can see there is a slight in decrease in the drag coefficient for design B which gives the huge impact in the performance of the vehicle where once we use that nose cone. So according to our results and calculations we have chosen the design B as the best design and for our fabrication we have chosen the design B. And to overcome the stagnation pressure effect that we have discussed in the observation point to reduce the effect we can reduce the uh, nose height of that nose cone so that the stagnation pressure effect can get reduced then air will move over the nose cone surface so after choosing the design of the nose cone there comes the fabrication part so for the fabrication we have estimated the cost like how much it going to cost if we fabricate the nose cone so for fabrication we have selected the two materials so first one is the fiber glass in fiber glass also there are like three varieties uh, CSM that is top stand mat then the fiber glass cloth and fiber glass fabric the prices are given below the next material that we have chose is carbon fiber carbon fiber is, there are also two varieties first one is a unidirectional fabric and next one is a plain weave in materials also the, we have calculated the values of the calculate the prices of the components which we require to fabricate the nose cone like sandpapers, resins and some catalysts and accelerators which accelerates the process of the fabrication so these are the prices of those components and for mold for making the bodyworks we require some mold and for mold we have chose the MDF and high density foam to make the molds of the bodywork parts. And uh, these are the references which I have used while making this project. So we have collected data from these references.
so research works and some booklets and that's it from our side thank you for watching the video